Releasing Bohemian Rhapsody, every, to begin with, everybody told us we shouldn't release it because it was too long and no one was going to play it. And we stuck out for it. They said we should edit it and we said, nope, it goes out in full or it doesn't go out at all. And we were very arrogant and, you know, full of, you know, the way we are about it. You know, you do it the way we want. But I think we were pretty shocked at the, re the reaction it did get, which was colossal everywhere yeah, in the oh, world, yeah. I suppose. Very recently in England, it was, it was still voted the number one song of, of all, all time. time. Yeah. Yeah. And I think... It, it sort they of did a sort of nationwide survey yeah. of students, which I find amazing. Mm. Students now voting it. So that, that's quite interesting. Stairway to Heaven was number two, I think. It's very strange because we were fairly famous for a long time in England, you know, the last 15 years or whatever, but we didn't become a prey to these kind of scummy papers until recently. And it's not related to, to what you're doing, you know, they're not interested in what music you play on or anything, but they just want the dirt, you know, they want to make. And if they can't find any, they'll invent it if they, if they choose to pick on you. So we were all going through great, you know, a lot of changes in our lives, and suddenly it became a big problem to me, particularly to a certain extent to Roger, and Freddie also had been through it a little while before. So this song, it's hard to describe here how vicious it is, really. I don't think, I mean, you have the National Enquirer here and everything, but I don't think even that comes close to the kind of damage that these things do in England. Well, that's sort of wacko.